A newly aggressive United Auto Workers Union is driving a wedge between the big three. All of the parts distribution facilities at General Motors and Stellantis are being called to stand up and strike. The union announced expanded strikes against 38 GM and Stellantis auto parts centers in 20 states across the U.S., adding 5,600 striking workers to the 13,000 already on strike. But in the latest wave, Ford was spared, with the union citing progress with the oldest automaker. It's kind of like a slap in the face. General Motors has always been a powerhouse in the automotive industry. So if you think that Ford can do it, I, I would think they can follow suit also. For the first time after making major concessions in the 2007 to 8 financial crisis, the union is making big demands, starting with a 40% pay increase over four years to match recent CEO salary hikes. I am currently earning less money per hour than I was 23 years ago. And you would like to get that back? Absolutely. GM President Mark Roos is firing back, calling the UAW's demands untenable after automakers offered a 20% wage hike. Those honks of approval match polls that show the American public is largely behind the union. 86 workers here in Bolingbrook, Illinois, walked off the job and onto the picket lines on Thursday. The union strategy is progressive strikes designed to gradually increase the pressure at one site after another and to stretch out a more than $800 million strike fund so they can last as long as they need to. The first picketers of the second wave of strikers seem ready to sacrifice. Right now we're scraping to get by and uh, uh, we're fighting corporate greed. They want to keep all the money at the top and uh, let nothing trickle down to, to the workers. Whether GM and Stellantis can match Ford's latest offer could well determine whether the UAW accelerates the strike or hits the brakes. John Hendren, Al Jazeera, Bolingbrook, Illinois.